All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a site definition and create an HTML file using Composer. So first, what I'm going to do is create a folder for my HTML files. And I'm just putting it here on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want and name it whatever you want. Then I'm going to open Composer. Now, once I'm in Composer, I'm going to set up my site definition. And the site definition just tells Composer where your files are so that you can easily access it while you're using Composer. So to do that, I click on this edit site, uh, edit site list, in fact, and it's in my desktop. So I'm just going to navigate to where I created my folder. It's this HTML files folder. I'm going to say OK, and uh, I can either keep HTML files as the name of this reference. This is an arbitrary name, so I can use whatever I want here. I could call it my site, and I'm not going to change anything else, um, and then I've got my site right over here, okay? So now I can create an HTML file to go in this folder. So I've got an untitled document. It gives you that by default when you start the program. So I'm just going to click Save, and I'm going to make this my home page. So I'm just going to give it the title of home. And now I want to make sure that it is in, in my desktop, in my folder called HTML files. And I'm going to name it index html let's save that so now I've got a home page and if I refresh you see index.html is now over here that's the use of the uh, site definition is it allows you to now easily access any files that are part of this site so to make a file part of your site all you have to do is put it in that folder we created at the beginning. In my case, it was on my desktop and called HTML files. And that is how you create a site definition.